All right, I want to give my uh, last bit on hardware uh, for now. And uh, on, on this topic, I wanted to give credit to where hardware has taken us. And in, in some regards, uh, cross-platform really bridged the gap uh, in some places in terms of uh, performance. Uh, and I, what, I'm, what I'm getting at, though, is while sometimes our performance... Um, may be equal in some regards and of course there's the, the it'll be inferior or superior regardless um, I'll use OpenGL and in, indirect uh, since I, I, I touched on that topic before um, and what I'm really trying to get at is that sometimes hardware makes up for the deficiencies in the software and that vendors have gone out of their way to address those issues that these deficiencies within within the software and to, to boost that that software's performance and so there, and, and in many cases we do have hardware uh, picking up the slack in turn hard drives for instance um, uh, helping in the the fragmentation uh, of the disks is one um, they themselves have also have also changed um, Within within the actuary arms and, and so on and so forth, um, in, in retrieval um, memory. We also have uh, well, I'll, I'll go back to like the OpenGL and Direct in terms of when OpenGL was pretty much the standard, and then Windows took over with with Direct, and then they dominated the the gamer market, of course, and, and everybody started using Direct um, as a language of choice uh, for programming. Um, while we have some really kick-ass video cards out there, and these these, these monster cards, um, a lot of times uh, we, we should consider, and, and and that was one aspect that that I like to show when I did the OS requirements, especially with 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 Unix-like systems and Unix systems specifically uh, uh, Linux and then then OS 10, um, being able to use less hardware, getting you the same performance. Um, and I think that's just it, that while we, let's say one side is using less hardware and the performance equals four, and then you have the other side, uh, the performance equals four, but it takes more hardware to get there. Uh, it, it, it goes to show that uh, no matter where the camp is and no matter the, the hardware vendor is supplying their their hardware to these, these software vendors or, or, or platforms have done a considerable job. And... Uh, I wanted it to be noted that when some when we do these when we do these benchmarks and it, but it is it is hard to gauge and no one's really done uh, like the the OpenGL Direct test and um, maybe we can take a time to do something like that but specifically like on, on Windows Vista let's take and and I do not use it at home and I'll say that uh, up front, I'm the the max that I have, at least for my my own personal computers, is is, is XP in, in development. Uh, although that we have Vista at my place of business. Um, if you want Vista, which I consider XP on steroids, um, you do need more hardware than you would for Leopard. And while many in regards to say, well, I don't care. The results, if my system is going to perform better, it's going to perform better. Okay, fine. If all things being equal, if that were the case, I disagree that that's the case. But let's say that all things being equal and the programming is all the same, and we have, we have one platform that is maxed to its ability within code, however it requires more juice to get it there, and you have another system that's maxed out, it's done as best that it could do with code, and it takes less hardware to get there. I think it should be noted. Um, and the credit given to that hardware vendors that have actually pushed the other platform to to achieve that that performance, uh, and and this leads into the proprietary nature of some of these high-end systems like in, in Sun and even Mac, and trying to limit that range of of, of hardware. Uh, granted, we hope one would hope that, that they would choose the best hardware, but. I have no complaints so far, uh, at least for, 
for 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 my Macs that I have, and especially the Sun systems that I that I that I've worked with. Um, but there, it's. I hope one can see. Uh, by by doing so and saying, well, you know what, I, I, I've spec'd out this hardware, I know that my, my platform needs this much juice and it's going to cost the consumer so much. Um, and then, of course, their competition, which is just going to rely on a variety amount of hardware and performance will vary, of course. And um, I'll, 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 I'm doing a response video to, to a user who is requesting why uh, you, w former Windows users switched switched to a to to, to uh, Apple or, or Macs, and one of those reasons that at least that that, that I've had it is, is having to do with varying performance and should I upgrade, should I not upgrade, um, so on and so forth. Uh, of course, that gets into specialized variables, but I did want to just say that that hardware has done a considerable job of leveling the playing field at least and they, they're they going to continue to do so and so let's say that Leopard makes a giant leap um, in software code along with the, the, the hardware platform and maybe Windows comes up with a, a, a even um, better OS uh, and it perhaps will require more hardware but I wouldn't doubt for a minute that the hardware providers will beef up their their specs to get that new OS there. So that said, thanks for watching.